How's it going everybody? I hope everybody is staying uh, healthy and safe at home. And uh, I for one couldn't wait to get out of the house today and make some content. I was going a little stir crazy to be honest, but uh, figured I would start with making a video today that's gonna address one of the questions I get asked the most often, which is, hey, I wanna upgrade my Tacoma, but um, you know, what's a solid suspension and wheel and tire combo to go with? Because I'm not building a rock crawler. I'm not building a dedicated off-roader. This has got to be my all around vehicle. So what should I get? That's a question I get a lot. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I'm not going to make this too technical, but I am going to share the pros and cons of the setup I got. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Let's start with the easy thing first, which is tires. Um, you know, tires is probably the one thing that anybody could do to their truck to instantly change the look. And you don't need to get a lift uh, to get great tires put on. When I first bought this truck, um, it came with, uh, actually straight from the dealer, um, they had actually fitted it. They had taken off the Wranglers that came with it, the Kevlar equipped with Wranglers, and they had installed um, these Neato Grapplers, which um, I actually really enjoyed. However, those did have some issues. For starters, even though they looked beefy, they were like 32s. And 32s are great for a stock truck. Nothing wrong with 32s. Um, but considering that they didn't really give me any extra ground clearance and they were sucking away my gas mileage on a stock lift, I kind of realized quickly that, you know, if I'm gonna get serious about this, I better um, start looking at, you know, actually buying suspension, <clears throat> getting the right wheels and building something that's capable. So eventually that brought me to these all-terrain KO2s, which you know, the KO2 is a very well-known uh, tire. And uh, what I like about this is, you know, you've got um, some sidewall uh, gripping power. You've got really solid side uh, sidewall rubber. Um, you've got deep grooves that are actually relatively flat all the way over through the surface area that touches the ground most frequently. And what's great about that tire is this is going to be great on the road for road noise. My grapplers, though they looked beefier and uh, more off-roady, um, they made a ton of noise in comparison to these. I didn't realize it at the time, but in comparison, these tires here are much quieter. So for living with something every day, I'm happy I went with the KO2s. So guys, right now I'm driving on a mountain road and uh, there are a lot of turns. And these turns, um, the, the speed limit right now says um, 45 to 50, depending on where you are on this road. And, uh, you know, an unexpected benefit of the tire choice is that because these KO2s are 10 ply, that means that my sidewalls are stiffer. And because they're stiffer, I actually have more responsive handling. The truck feels planted. Um, now the suspension, I've got it adjusted to be a little bit soft, which um, is the way I like it. I want it to soak up the road bumps. When I go off-road, I usually crank it up a little bit so it stiffens up. But here on this road right now, this truck feels like a sports car. It's strange, It's it like baffles the brain because 
you don't think it should handle this well, and yet it does. So really happy with the E-rated KO tubes. So for suspension, I actually went with King Shocks, and specifically, I did the extended travel, which offers one more inch of droop over the regular shocks. And uh, this is a 2.5 system with adjusters, so I can uh, adjust the stiffness how I see fit uh, all around. And I did go with the 700 pound uh, coils instead of 600, just because I knew I was gonna get an off-roading bumper. Um, so I wanted to compensate for that weight. For upper control arms, I went with Icon's Delta Joint. This gives me enough caster ability to fit those large tires with minimal to no rubbing. In the back, we got the RXT Icon Leaf Springs, which are adjustable. The great thing about that is as weight goes up in the back, uh, I can add another leaf, making it stiffer and keeping the truck level at all times. For rims, I went with the SES F5 wheel. These are 17 by eight and a half with 10 millimeter spacing, and they weigh just under 22 pounds. Great for everyday use. So let's look at the pros and cons of this setup so far. Tires. Pros, you have robust tires that are 10 ply that are gonna be very durable. Pro, you've got tires that have got low road noise and very good grip in most weather. Cons, these tires weigh 61 pounds each, so they are very heavy. And con, they're not the best in mud. Suspension, pros. The King Shocks actually feel better than the stock setup did. And keep in mind, this particular TRD Pro came with the Fox setup from the factory. These Kings felt even more simple and definitely have a more dynamic range. Pro, the suspension is adjustable. So as I need more stiffness or more softness, it's up to me, I can make those adjustments, which is great. Con, the suspension system also has some maintenance involved. The control arms need to be greased. There are three Zerk fittings. And every five or 6,000 miles, you probably want to make sure that they're looped properly. So a little bit of maintenance. However, you do get uh, quite a bit more range from that upper control arm. Okay, folks, so uh, we're going to have to wrap this up because it has gotten much colder and uh, it's actually gotten pretty late, so we're losing some daylight. Um, but just to recap really quick, highly recommend my setup. If you are somebody who wheels occasionally, goes off-road, enjoys um, trail, trails and that kind of stuff, um, but this is your daily driver or um, you, know, you use it 99% of the time on the street. Um, save yourself some dough, get it uh, set up for what you use it primarily for. That's my recommendation. You could always go more aggressive down the road, but why hate yourself now? Um, you know, you're gonna waste more money on gas. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna hate the way it drives on the road if it's too aggressive. Think about all that stuff. Um, I think that's really uh, strong advice. So all that being said, guys, happy to answer more questions because I know there's a ton, um, but just put those questions in the comments below. And uh, if you're new to the channel, check out my other Tacoma related videos. I'm gonna put a link right up here. And uh, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.